today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 best mods for your Toyota Corolla. So in this video I'm going to be showing you all my favorite mods that I have done to my Corolla. And also before we get this video started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. Thank you guys so much. Let's get this video started. Alright, so the first one I want to talk about is wheels and tires. So I'd definitely say this is a great choice for a good first mod on your car. I specifically chose niche wheels. These are 18 by 8.5 wheels. I believe from my car, I believe my car had 15 inch wheels, so these are actually 3 inches bigger. And they're actually lighter than the previous like steely wheels on here with hubcaps. And I know, I know, a lot of people are going to say wheels and tires are not a mod. But I definitely would disagree with that because the majority of the time you buy these machined aluminum wheels or get a wider tire it's going to add somewhat of performance to your car so whether it's a lighter wheel or a wider wheel that'll give you better traction and also a lighter wheel will also help you theoretically accelerate faster because there's less weight out here to try to move so all right let's move on to the next one all right so the next one i want to talk about is um blacking out your emblems or specifically with me i hyper dip my emblems so it's pretty much just like plastic dip but to me it gives you a much glossier finish than the normal um, matte plastic dip i think this gives your car a great look all around doing the back emblems and also the front emblems if you want to do that so but here you can see i blacked my toyota emblem out here and and from afar it kind of blends in with the car a little bit but up close you can see the contrast between the gray and the black but it gives you a nice blacked out look all right so the next one i want to talk about are these bumper brake lights these replace the original um just normal reflector on the bumper so and they're literally a direct replacement all you have to do is just tap them into your brake lights and they'll turn on with your brake lights and also light up when you brake so not only is it a nice mod to do, but it also adds a little bit more safety to your car, depending on how you wire them up, but having an extra brake light is, will never hurt. Also just want to mention that I will be trying to put all the links to everything that I have bought in the description. Like these I ordered from eBay, so I will try to drop a link in the description just for these and everything else that I talk about. Alright, so the next one I want to talk about are these fog lights with the fog light bezels on them this was another one i ordered off of ebay so and it came with normal bulbs and then it came with um dotted lights on the top i'll throw a picture up right here this is what it normally looks like but i think adding fog lights to your car is a must it helps you see a lot nicer at night it lights up the road a lot better especially if you put leds in it hopping into the next one would be adding sequential leds to it so and that's what i ended up swapping out here so they're a normal daytime running light right now and then i'll swap them over to all right so here is what they look like with the sequential turn signals on them they're not super bright but they're definitely a decent mod to add to your car so i bet you if you bought a little bit more expensive ones than i did they might be a little bit brighter but these ones I only paid like 15 bucks for. So, but adding sequential LEDs to your car makes it look a lot nicer. All right, so one of the last exterior mods that I would want to talk about is vinyl wrapping your roof. So, I think this makes the car stand out a lot. And it's such a subtle mod that you wouldn't really even notice it. But having like a two-tone roof to like your car color i mean i know in my car it's not as noticeable but if you had like a white car red car or something it would probably be a lot nicer but it kind of blends in with the the roof with the rear and the front windshield all right guys so hopping into the inside of this car the next mod i would definitely say is this radio this radio has been awesome 
I would definitely say this radio because I have had no problems at all with the whole over the year I've had it. No problems whatsoever. And the biggest bonus is being able to have Apple CarPlay on it. So for a 12, 13 year old car, I think this is such a good upgrade for it compared to the stock radio that was in here. So having this radio is a must. All right, so one of the next ones would be this monkey wrench short throw shifter that I installed in this, in my Corolla. So um, if you have a manual transmission Corolla, this is another good upgrade compared to the stock shifter. So the throws are a lot shorter and the shifts are a lot smoother with this. So it's just such a nice feel. I definitely say it's worth it. I think it's like a hundred bucks with shipping or whatever like that. It's not too hard to install. Um, again, I have videos of this stuff. If you want to see me how to install this shifter in my car, um, I'll definitely, if you search my channel, you'll definitely find it. But also when you buy this shifter, another good thing to do is to change the um, shifter bushings. The shifter bushings where the cables end up meeting the transmission. So um, I ended up shift switching out those as well. So I definitely say this is a good combo to get the short throw shifter and the solid brass bushings. They definitely change the feel of how you shift. All right, so there's the bushings I was talking about. Um, those bushings right there, I believe they're like 20 bucks from Monkey Wrench Racing. So if you're gonna definitely buy the short throw shifter, I would definitely recommend installing these bushings. They're not too hard. So as long as they're not seized up, it's only like a 10 minute job. All right, and while we're under the hood, might as well talk about the next one I would definitely recommend is this in-gen cold air intake. Um, it's an intake that literally runs all the way down into your fender. So it is not a hot air intake or a short ram intake. This is an actual cold air intake installed on here. It definitely makes the car sound a lot nicer, and I'd say it gives it a little bit of power. So um, definitely worth it if you're looking to do any performance mods to your car. All right, so I definitely want to say if you guys have made it this far in this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so that way we can move on to the last one. All right, you guys, so the last one I want to talk about is this Borla Catback Exhaust. This has to be one of my favorite mods I have done to the car so far. And do I love it? I, I mean, it is probably the best investment, I guess you could say, for this Corolla. I love the sound of it. It doesn't sound too raspy. I mean, it makes the car fun to drive. And I have noticed, I would probably say uh, this does free up a little bit more power. So it does feel a little bit quicker than it did before I installed this. But this Borla Catback Exhaust would definitely be one of the first mods I would want to do to the Corolla. It sounds amazing. Here's some sound clips. So if you're definitely looking into getting a mod for this car, I would definitely say this would be the one. I mean, especially if you have a, a Corolla S, usually they have the cutout already for you, but my car did not have the cutout. I had a base model Corolla, so I had to cut it out myself. That's why it looks not the most professional, but it looks good. So I would definitely recommend this as one of the first mods you want to do to your Corolla. All right, guys, and something else I forgot to definitely talk about was um, lowering your car. So I am lowered on coilovers, so I have adjustable height, and I'm pretty low. So, but I want to recommend um, I have Rev9 coilovers, so um, they're a fairly budget-friendly coilover that gives you full adjustability 
over all your ride height and dampening and everything like that at a fraction of the prices of what all these other people are so I mean, you can see them all the way in the back i don't have really much good like pictures of them otherwise of like seeing the top hats or whatever so that was just a bonus one of what you guys would want to do as to lower your car all right guys so that is going to be a wrap for this whole video um that is the top 10 mods that i would definitely recommend to do to your corolla if you're looking to do any mods to it so with all that being said if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys like the video don't forget to smash that like button and i'll see you guys next time